Escape from Dino Island is a 32-page tabletop RPG by Sam Tung and Sam Roberts. It uses the Powered by the Apocalypse rules paradigm. This video is a bit special because the main review was written by guest reviewer Nick Bate, who you can find on Twitter and Itch. I'll leave the links below. I thought his review of the game so perfectly summed up my feelings that I asked him if I could just read his review out loud on my channel. I'll also add my own thoughts at the end of this video. So here's what Nick had to write. I first heard about Escape from Dino Island on The Hard Move where they talked about the game's tell a story mechanic. It sounded super clever for learning about characters in play, spoiler it is, plus it's Jurassic Park the RPG so obviously I was in. Escape from Dino Island is a stylish 32 page zine plus play sheets, more on those later. But far and away the most striking thing is how tightly designed it is. Everything in this little zine is laser focused on one shot play. The opening setup is a two page spread questionnaire. As you work through it together at the table, you're building your characters, some context, and your starting situation. Zero prep, just go. The moves are another tight two page spread split between peril moves and safety moves. They cover all the basic things you'd want in a Jurassic Park movie, straightforwardly and without trying to be too clever. In other words, exactly what you want from a one shot. The hero playbooks cover the key archetypes. I really appreciate that each has a fixed starting move and only two to three options for advances. It cuts down on analysis paralysis, which is again perfect for a one shot. The DM or Dino Master tools are really good too. Tables, locations, dinos, a defined three act structure. But I really want to talk about the play sheets. It's ridiculous how good the play sheets are. The first play sheet is a map of Dino Island, blank except for a coastline and the obligatory volcano. Adding things to the map is integrated into the setup and some of the moves, so it's actually a part of play, not just a pretty picture. The Dino Master sheet contains agenda, principles, and DM moves because PBTA, but it also has a three act structure in flowchart form giving the DM clear guidance on how to shape the session. It's super practical and I bet it's super useful in play. The hero playbooks are well laid out for both character creation and play. The surprisingly brilliant bit though is that each contains a thematically appropriate sidebar. For the doctor it's first aid procedures, for the hunter it's eight animal signs. This might seem like a funny little bonus, but I think it's actually much cleverer than that. Dino Island is designed for one shots, you don't have time to plan or think through your character, and anyway the game wants us to learn about them in play. These sidebars give you a little bit of stuff that you can deploy straight away to make yourself sound like an engineer, or a paleontologist, or a hunter. Like so much of Dino Island, this little piece helps you get straight into the action, and straight into your character. Honestly, I can't recommend Escape from Dino Island highly enough. It might seem light, a tiny zine about Jurassic Park themed one shots, but there's way more going on here. The design is so tight and so inspirational. I know I'll come back to it again and again. There's so much more I could say, but you should stop reading this and grab Escape from Dino Island. Okay, hey, it's Dave again. I did want to add a couple more thoughts of my own. Like Nick mentioned, the game was discussed on the PBTA focused podcast called The Hard Move. In the episode that he mentioned, they talked about how each of the characters is asked to tell a story. This is actually a huge part of the game. All three of the safety moves ask the player to tell a story, and the doctor's starting special move also calls for it. This is a pretty profound element of game design because it's formally incorporating ad-lib character backstory building right there in game. There is also a mechanic attached to each of these stories. At the end of the game, when the MC unleashes the so-called extinction event and draws things to a close, with the PCs either getting off the island or not, they tally up all the stories that they told and that acts as a bonus on a final roll. The more stories told, the better the chance of them ultimately having a happy ending. But beyond the mechanical bonus, all these stories being told builds empathy for these characters, so that in a very short time, across just a session or two, whether they make it off the island kind of feels important. So let me give a quick pro and con here for Escape from Dino Island. Con. It leaves you wanting more. Everything about this game is focused on a short and sweet one shot or at most two shot experience. The way that the extinction event and everything is structured, there's hardly any way to stretch it out. If you really wanted to keep your beautifully built characters and unpack more adventure with them, you'd have to engineer additional game framework yourself. I'd love to see the Sams do an expansion. Pro, and this is recapping what Nick wrote about earlier, it's a perfectly packaged experience. As an aspiring game designer myself, there is almost a physical pain of seeing something this tightly designed. 
I've always been inspired by the likes of Brandish Gilhelm and Kelsey Dion, who try to cut away the excess and deliver only the most essential materials needed to run a game. The creators here packed what could essentially be 100 pages of game into a tight 32 pages, but it's all completely readable and there's still plenty of art. This game is sort of my north star when it comes to design now. Honestly, I'm not sure if there will ever be an official Jurassic Park or Jurassic World RPG. Is there one already? I haven't looked. I don't care because I know it would be overbloated with canon details and grainy screenshots from the films and sidebars of movie quotes and other fluff on every page. It could never live up to the honesty and precision of Escape from Dino Island. Definitely check this one out, if only for the approach to game design and page organization. And thanks again to Nick Bate for his guest review. I've left links for everything down below. Thanks for watching my channel. This is Dave, signing off. See ya.